Rookie of the Year, All-NBA First Team, Six-Time NBA All-Star, and a stat sheet stuffer supreme, Amari Stoudemire. Whatever your excuses, I am not buying it. You are awesome, and I am JD. Amari Stoudemire signed a one-day contract so he could retire a New York Nick, setting in stone a career that was great, but not as great as it could have been had it not been for injuries. Now, of course, his best years came in Phoenix alongside another great champion in Steve Nash, also retired. So for today, chaps, we're using the Throwback Thursday on Maurice Stoudemire, and we're gonna dive into some gameplay straight away and see if this man can put on one final performance before walking off into the sunset. So if you're going to enjoy this video, a thumbs up would be super appreciated and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Let's dive into it. This is Amori's last go round. Hopefully he makes it a good one. We've got the man in the paint taking his first shot and he's gonna miss, but it's all right. We're gonna get back on defense. Russell Westbrook taking his first shot and he's gonna knock it down, taking the 2-0 lead. And Derek Rose, he's gotta find Mr. Stoudemire, who's gonna come barreling down the court, going for the lay-in. He lays it up off the side of the backboard, gets his own rebound he backs it up takes his jumper and he's gonna miss that as well bit of a rough start for Amari starting out he's got the ball back though he's taking another shot he's not gonna be deterred he knocks it down tying this game up at two apiece Derrick Rose is gonna take it right off of Russell Westbrook who gives it to Griffin back to Durant over to Stoudemire in the paint he lays the ball in we take the two-point lead Amari four points on the night already he gets the ball in the paint now no work on the pump fake, he steps out, pulls the jumper, and he knocks it down. Let's go, he's getting in rhythm right now. He's starting to feel it now. He's starting to feel that shot. Russell Westbrook coming to the paint. Andre Drummond trying to take it to the rack on Stoudemire, but it's not gonna work, and he snags the rebound. Can he go coast to coast with it? He's looking, he's gonna put up the flow to miss him, but get the rebound, and then he's gonna lay it back in. 21 seconds left, eight to two. Defense again, not allowing any points. Rose gets the rebound, kicks it over to Antetokounmpo. Get it over to Stoudemire, who's gonna flip it up and in, almost at the five second mark. 10 to two, five seconds left. Spotlight, Kevin Durant. He's looking, he's crossing over, gets in the lane, flips it up and he knocks it in. 10 to four now, only .4 seconds. No way to get a shot off, even if he would have. He never would have made that because I never get to make those full court shots at all. So moving on to our next opponent, he's got Supremacy LeBron. This is gonna be difficult, but look at Stoudemire getting the steal, Durant picking it up, taking it all the way for the jam, jamming it down two to nothing. So Stoudemire there, creating some offense for the teammates with his defense. Ricky Rubio getting past Derrick Rose to jam it down with two hands. Unabated, nobody touched him. Just let the man go. We're looking for Stoudemire. Wide open to the top of the key, knocks it down though. That's what we're talking about. Finding some wide open shots for him. Getting him going early, that's what we like to see. And now Stoudemire breaking it down the court. Of course he's looking for a shot, spinning. Gets to the lane, double team, still gets it in. That's what we're talking about. Laying it in over the defense. Stoudemire is not caring right now. The first game was a little shaky. He was nervous. It was his first couple games. He said, hey, let's just calm down and let's do this thing right. And he's knocking it down again. Eight to two, this man is really good shooter. He's a very, very excellent shooter. I'm loving him right now. Absolutely loving him. We're trying to find him right now. Onto Takumbo is gonna kick it over to Durant. He's gonna kick it back to Onto Takumbo. Finally get it to Stoudemire again. The double team looks like it's coming. He's not worried about it. Pulls the shot and he's gonna knock it down. This man is now on fire. He is not missing any shots anymore. Stoudemire said no, that beginning was all a fluke. Don't even act like it never even happened. Great defense by Stoudemire. Gets the rebound, 35 seconds left. He's coming on the court. He's gonna pull a three. Can he get it down? No, he can't. It's all right though. He's only got 59 rated three, so I really did not expect him to make it, but we had to take at least one. We had to try at least one with him to see what he could do. He's gonna pull up the floater though, and he's gonna knock it down just like his old teammate Steve Nash used to do. Ricky Rubio coming down the court looking to do something. Kicks it to DeAndre Jordan of all people who knocks down a three-pointer. That literally shocked me. That literally threw me for a loop. I was like, DeAndre Jordan 
is not gonna make that shot. I mean, how many career threes did he even have? Maybe he has the ability to make one or two, so I, I don't know. That just seemed like a situation where he would not have made it, but moving on to the next game anyway, Stoudemire, I tried to get the dunk, but he just stopped, but we still get the layup anyway, so hey, that's all we're looking for. We're looking to score. Demarcus Cousins, I blew my assignment on that one there. I tried to get the double team still, but he got it to Demarcus Cousins, who jams it down. Tying the game up for two rows, looking for Stoudemire. He's backing down uh, D Cousins, pulls the shot over him and knocks it down. The shot is in form now. It doesn't matter how many games we switch. It does not matter. His shot is on target right now. Inside there, it is just perfect. Flips it up, knocks it down again. The floater is working now too. The defense is strong right now. We are not allowing any scores. Get to Stoudemire, 45 seconds left in the clock. He's just dancing in the backcourt, trying to figure out what he wants to do. He's driving, he's looking. He said, you know what? I'm, I'm on fire right now. I can't miss. I absolutely cannot miss right now. And it seems that way as well. And then look at Tim Duncan. Throwback Thursday, Timmy D doing work right there with the putback. Very nice. But once again at the buzzer, Stoudemire knocks it down. This man has been absolutely amazing. Stoudemire has been absolutely amazing for the few games that I got in with him. I mean, just, just a thrill to play with. What a great player he was actually in the NBA as well. Sad to see that a lot of his career was plagued by injury because I definitely think he would have been a Hall of Famer had he been able to play, um, you know, the majority of his actual career and not be, you know, sidelined so much. But uh, definitely Phoenix was his best years. He was a pleasure to watch. Really, really great player. Uh, kind of slowed down, of course, with New York and uh, playing with Carmelo Anthony, but definitely his Phoenix days were absolutely awesome. I definitely like watching him. Being a Laker fan myself, we had a lot of battle with those guys. It was absolutely fun to watch. But guys, I hope you did enjoy this uh, showcase of the uh, 84 overall of Murray Stardomire Throwback Thursday. If you did, a thumbs up would be super appreciated. And as always, chaps, you are awesome. And I am Jay Diesel. See you around. Yeah.